Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. I am out here in the sunroom today, um, wrapping presents, and I have so much to do. Um, but it's fun, and I enjoy it. And I was going to show you guys what I did with last year's Christmas cards that I got, so that you can see how I like to use them. I've got me a box that actually, I forget what came in this box, but it's got, got a clear front on the top of it, which is really nice. So I'm going to use it for the tags that I make today. And last year, after the holiday, I think I posted it, I took all my Christmas cards and I cut them out. And now I have punched holes in them and I'm going to make tags out of them. And I wanted you guys to see them today. They're so pretty. And Chris went out in the barn and he got me some string. And I'm going to tie some string on each one and um, make these tags right quick. As if I have time, right? But you know what? It's fun. And um, I enjoy it. And it just makes it, just makes it fun, you know. So you can take your cards and cut them out, punch a hole in them, and then get you some thread. Now this thread is not cotton, so I'm hoping it'll work. Yeah, it's going to work. Um, I told him, I said, just go get me some thread. And so what I'm going to do, you can tell this was a card from last year. And so I cut out the where it said Merry Christmas. And now I'm going to tie a string on it, and I'm going to trim the ends off of this. And then I will tape it to the present um, and put the name on the back. Now, some of them have writing on them because they're from cards. And if they do, you can put something along the back to cover it up. But I want you just to see how pretty they are. There's one. And this is backwards. I wish y'all could read when I'm live. And I'm sorry you can't, but you just can't. There's one. Look how pretty this one is. And you can tell I've got holes in them. Now this one has got writing on the back. So when I get ready to do that, I'll use sticky paper and just put a sticky over the top of it. Poinsettias. An angel. And these are all from last year. And sometimes I take... Um, different scenes off of the same card. Let me bring this over here so I can sit down, y'all. I've got so much to do today, I'm going to wear myself out if I'm not careful. Chris is like Tammy, because I'm going live tonight, and I'm making salmon patties, um, stewed potatoes, and st stewed cabbage. And he said, honey, after you get out there and you do all that today, you're not going to feel like cooking. I said, well, if I rest in between, I'm going to really try today to do that. I don't have my makeup on, but I'm clean. I've had a shower. <laughs> but anyway, sometimes I get more than one tag off of a card. It's according to what the scene looks like. But I want y'all to see how pretty they are. Look at that pretty truck from last year. A little gingerbread boy. And you know what? He looks like he's eight, don't he? Because I had to cut the bottom of him off. Somebody enjoyed him, didn't they? There's a scene. I think it's fun to look at these from last year. This one says peace, and it's got a beautiful red bird on it. Oh, I gotta show y'all my paper. Look how pretty that is. I gotta show y'all my paper I bought at Ollie's Outlet. Look! It's red birds. Isn't it pretty? I love it. It's brown paper with red birds. I don't remember how much they charged me for this paper. And if your Ollie's would have any or not. I, I bought two rolls of it, but I don't see the other roll laying around, so I don't know how much it cost. Truck. There's a pretty one. And you can design them as you cut them out, you know, and like when I cut this one out, I put the little, I cut it out in this shape. 
You can um, just use your imagination. Look at this one. I cut it out in the shape of the tree. Even cut out the pot and went around the limbs. Isn't that a pretty tag for a present? I love doing this. Look at this beautiful cardinal. You know what? This reminds me of something. You know, you always have to think about memories when you do stuff. Um, when I went to church at Grace Baptist Church in Powder Springs, Georgia, um, it makes me tear up a little bit. I had a friend there at Grace, and she was such a sweetheart, and she meant so much to me. And her name was Pauline Thrasher. I didn't even get to go to her funeral, but she passed away, and, um, when we were at the church, she and I spent, we always sat on the back row together. My nose is turning red because I teared up. Sorry, I'm a redhead. You just have to deal with the way I really look. <laughs> but anyway, she was such a sweetheart. She didn't have any children. She worked in the nursery her whole life, regularly, every weekend. She would work the nursery every Sunday morning. Um, but... She loved to cook, and she gave me a pound cake recipe book, and I can't find it. It drove me crazy. It was just a little blue pamphlet cookbook, and it had pound cakes in it. And my favorite pound cake that I use in my recipe book came out of her recipe book. Um, it's in my first recipe book. It's the one with the nine eggs. But anyway, she taught me how to do this, y'all. She taught me how to do this. So even if she's in heaven, this is still part of Pauline. And she showed me how to do it. And so every year when I cut these out, I think of Pauline. Look at that. Let me see who's on here. Okay. Poinsettias. Mr. Snowman. He's shiny on one side and flat matte on the other. Yeah, I do this after Christmas. This is last year's. So every year after Christmas, when I take my Christmas cards down, that's when I cut these out and I get them ready for the next year. Look at this Santa. Y'all might even know. One of y'all might have sent it to me. I don't know. But he was a beach Santa. He's surfing. I think I think that a viewer sent me that that lives in um, Hawaii, actually. This was just a strip on one of the cards. And so I just cut it out because I can write on the back of it. And I thought it was pretty. And I made a tag out of it. Look at this. He's an American United States Santa. The three wise men. Beautiful snowmen. These are shiny. They have glitter on them. I cut this one out and I turned, uh, I rounded it and it says Noel. Little puppy on the couch. Mailbox. I'm almost at the end. A little tree. A door. And this was just pretty. And I cut it out. It's the front porch of a house. All lit up and decorated for Christmas. Some of y'all might have sent these last year and even remember them. Um, look at this. This is the last one. I cut it out around the circle, and I left the gold trim in, on it. And that's it. I'm going to tie some strings to them and um, get them ready. And I was going to show y'all these. I bought me some stickers, okay? I love stickers. I love cards. And these stickers I bought on Amazon, and they have sayings on them. So, like, when I want to send somebody a card... I can put one of these cute little stickers on there. Like this one says, 
Be positive, persistent, and patient. And this one says, try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. And it's just a whole stick of stuff like that. I thought they were super cute for me to put on my cards. Look at all of them. So I'm just going to sit here and play today. Like a kid, I was thinking, y'all might think this sounds goofy, but um, I have actually mailed a few cookbooks myself over the last couple of days. I haven't got to mail all of them, but some of them I have mailed, and I actually gifted a few people some cookbooks. Um, because, like, if they ordered one cookbook, I might send them a bundle. Now, I didn't do everybody's, so don't get excited if you've placed an order, because I don't really... I only did it two times, and it was just something I decided to do, but it was fun. And I was thinking to myself, you know what, when I was a little girl, and this is the truth, when I was a little girl, um, I loved paperwork. I loved anything to do with it. And when I would play, I would write on paper, and I would pretend I was the teacher, and I would pretend I was the secretary. Did y'all do that? And um, we would write each other notes, me and Melissa, and we would play house, and we would play, uh, like we had little stores, and we would make invoices. Oh my gosh, a limb just fell off the tree. It was not a real big limb, but it was a limb. At least it didn't have a squirrel on it. But anyway, um, and I so enjoyed doing that. And when I was packaging those books, I don't package the books anymore. Melissa does. And when I was packaging the books, I was thinking to myself, you know what? God is so good. He has blessed me so much that I get to write on cards and do this little paperwork and send out special things to people. And that's what I was thinking when I was packaging those books. That, you know... As a child, when I would pretend to get to do things like that, now I'm getting to actually, well, oh, my glasses are doing this glare. Now I actually get to do that. I look older without my glasses on, I think. So I, I like to wear them. Um, I had contacts made and I won't even put them on because I don't like the way my eyes look underneath them because they just look so dark. But now I'm all natural today. Um, but anyway, isn't that nice? Do you ever think of stuff like that? You know, we take stuff for granted and we think, oh, we got to do this and we got to do that. And it's humdrum and it's, and it's, uh, everything's a chore. But do you ever just take the time out to think about how blessed you are? And when I was doing those books, that's what I was thinking about. Not, oh my gosh, I got to get this done, but this is such a blessing. And look how much God has blessed me. He's blessed me with all these things and all these people and all these Christmas cards that I can send out. And I bought, I went and bought a few little gifts to send to people um, that are viewers that I can. I can't send them to everybody. But it's such a blessing. Isn't it a blessing when you, when you, when you sit down and think about stuff like that? If you really look at it on the bright side, you know, there's a, there's a bad side or just, you know, a pessimistic side of life. And then there's a bright side of life. And um, we should look on the bright side. Think about that when you were a kid. How you wanted to be in the grown-up adult so bad. And you wanted to do all those things so bad. And now you get to do them and you just take it for granted. Let me look and see who's on here. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would bring that up. I'm going to sit here and tie these strings on here, listen to my music. I bought lots of books. Let me show y'all what I got at Ollie's that are books, and then I'll go. If you don't ever go to Ollie's but for anything, just go there for their books. Amy likes to draw these characters all the time, and so I bought her a draw manga book, and it teaches them how to draw the characters, you know, like this. So I got that for Amy. It was just a few bucks. I got um, May a, a crochet book. She loves to crochet. 
She's actually getting a yarn bowl for Christmas and some stuff for her crocheting. That's what mostly she's getting for Christmas. And I got her a book that's called Yarn Happy. And then I got Angel a book about sewing because Angel sews and she has a sewing machine. They're going to have a craft room. And so everything just about I got Angel for Christmas is all about sewing. And this is Angel's book. I bought her home sewn quilts. And all these books were about 3 or $4, something like that. $2.99, $3.99. And then, I, of course, I had to get me some books. Let me show y'all what I got me. I got me Birds and Blooms, Birds in Your Backyard. That's what I got me. Isn't it pretty? Purple book. So, when, if, if I'll ever get time to look at it, I hope I do. I do best looking at these books when I'm out on the porch. And then I bought this. It's a Reader's Digest Who's Who in the Bible. And it's illustrated. And it's just really neat. I opened it up and read a few of the page, you know, read on a few of the pages before I decided to get it. And this is a good, just not a Bible study, but a just a good a good read, you know, to have next to the chair or have in the bathroom that you can pick it up and read about. And it tells you all about these people in the Bible. Um, let's look up one right quick, and we'll end with that. I have to make sure I got the right Mary, because you know there's a bunch of my Marys in the Bible. Mary is a central figure in the two gospel accounts of the birth of Jesus and in later centuries became an important focus of Christian theology and piety or piety. I'm not sure how to say that. Um, let me turn off this music. But it, it shows you paintings in here, famous paintings. This is a painting of Mary looking at infant Jesus painted by Carlo Marotta in 1625, from 1625 to 1713. That's the painting right there. Where are you going, honey? Somewhere. You going fishing? Yeah. Or a fishaholic? Yeah, I won't try something right now. He's a fishaholic. What do you think? Okay. My husband. Okay. Mary was a virgin of Nazareth. Bethrothed to a man named Joseph, that is, they were legally committed to Mary, but were not yet given, they were not yet living together. The age of Mary is not given, though typically she would have been only a few years past puberty. Nothing is said of Mary's ancestry except that she was a relative of Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist who was of the tribe of Levi. I do believe the tribe of Levi are the ones that were the priests, if I'm, if I'm thinking right. Um, at some point during the betroth, betrothal period, I'm probably saying it wrong, usually a year long, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and announced that she would bear a son to be named Jesus. As a royal successor to King David. When Mary objected that she had no husband, the angel told her that the Holy Spirit would come upon her and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. The child would be called Holy, the Son of God. An enduring example of obedient faith, she replied, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Mary soon visited the elderly Elizabeth, who was six months pregnant. As Mary greeted her kinswoman, the child in Elizabeth's womb leaped for joy. Mary responded to Elizabeth's salutation in the poem commonly known from its first word in Latin as the Magnificent. By including this poem, Luke reveals Mary, 
young as she was, as profoundly perceptive. She was deeply aware of her low estate, which had been elevated by a blessing from God that all generations would recognize. She connected her own experience directly with her belief that God was now helping his servant Israel since he had scattered the proud and put down the mighty while he exalted those of low degree and filled the hungry with good things. As the events of Jesus' birth unfold, Mary continued to meditate on them, or in Luke's words, Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And it just continues. Isn't that beautiful? So I, I'm really going to love this book. And it's all about the people of the Bible. So you can look up any name and read about them. And uh, it has a lot of information in here. And there's a lot of paintings. Um, there's a lot of pictures of artifacts that they found um, about different uh, people. It's really cool. You know, Reader's Digest is a good book. So if you can go to Ollie's and get this, um, they only had two or three of them. And I was lucky to find it. I actually took the cover off of it. It had a cover. I always take them off. Um, this was the cover that was on it. I was going to look at, and I don't remember what the price, oh, I took off the price, so I don't remember what it was. But anyway, that's it. I hope y'all have a blessed day. I hope he gets back for me to make my salmon patties. I bet he don't. That man. Um, and I'm sure he's already gone. As soon as we get off here, I'm going to call him and I'm going to say, you better come home in time for us to get those salmon, salmon patties made. But I bet he won't. He won't be back till dark. He has gone fishing. We'll be, I'll be uh, doing the live all by myself if I do one. Well, that's it. I'm going to keep wrapping up my presents. And um, I hope y'all have a blessed day. It's good to see everybody. And I didn't go on um, YouTube because I didn't go through Restream. So I'll just have to copy this and let them see it too. Y'all have a blessed day and I love ya. Tony has a question. Why do we why do we celebrate Christmas on December the 25th and most No, that's not when Jesus was born. The same reason we have church on Sunday and we know that uh the Sabbath is Saturday. <laughs> How's that? Because we just do. All right. I'm sure there's a reason, but I don't know what it is. I would have to Google it. Tell me Google it. Bye, y'all. Love you.